Hello sweet sweet stars, welcome back. I hope that you have had a really good week. You're a little bit lopsided. Um, so this week what we're going to be doing is how you think they feel versus what they really feel for you. But before we get going on that, if you didn't tap in, tune in on Sunday, I did uh, an entry for a competition to win a 15 minute reading with me. And that is what I'm going to do first. I'm going to do the results. So I have copied and pasted all of the comment names onto this wheel thing. Um, and because it kind of reminded me of the Wheel of Fortune, um, I thought it was, it was quite a good one to do because, you know, me and Tara. So if you can see, here we all are. And these are all of your names spinning around this circle. And I'm literally going to press shuffle. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's see who wins. Oh, no, that didn't work. I've got to spin it. <laughs> press the wrong button. So the winner is... Expression list. So, expressionless, well done. Um, if you want to drop me an um, email at mysticlovetarot at gmail.com um, and we will get you booked in for your 15 minute reading. Well done, guys. Um, and also, just as a, you know, as a thank you for the last nine months that you stuck by me um, with the birth of Hunter and helping me throughout maternity leave, um, it's really good to be back with all, you all. But, you know, as a thank you from me to you all, um, thanks for all your love and support. And obviously, if you need me now, I'm rocking and rolling on all cylinders, so you can just get in touch. Uh, email readings are a 24 to 48 hour turnaround, and video readings um, is next week, like the latter part of it, next week, 7 to 14 days turnaround, depending on when you book. Okay, so let's go. So we've got two decks for you to pick from. We have got, do it that way, the Spacious Tarot, which I haven't used in forever, and that was really calling me to it, and the Romance Tarot. So pick your deck. Um, as always, works on the strongest mutual energy between you all, regardless of your circumstances and situations. It goes into all your energies and pulls out that strong energy between you all. Deck number one. Let's go. So how you think they feel versus what they actually feel. And let me just see what spirits say, see what the cards say and see what comes up. So I'm just going in your energy and can you think about your person, the person that you want to know about? As we go into that energy. Okay. And let's do their thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions, and thought processes. And your thought processes and feelings as well. Okay. Let's go. So can I have three cards for how you think they feel? That's you watching. How do you think your person feels? One. Two. Oh, this is interesting. Three. And how do they actually feel? One. Two. What's really fascinating about this over here? So you've pulled, I pulled you six cards, but you had one that jumped out right at the start. Out of those six cards, you have four court cards. So the court cards are normally people related. Um, so it could be that they're largely coming up in your thought process, really. So you're potentially worrying that there's other people involved in this, especially with the three of pentacles next to it. So you guys watching this might be thinking, are they seeing someone else? Are they talking to someone else? You've got this insecurity kind of picking up within you and you're like well they haven't really expressed how they're feeling they haven't told me what's going on they might have gone ghost and I don't know what they are up to and that is where this this kind of energy is of what are they getting up to now with it being court cards we're also saying to me that it doesn't necessarily have to be people in this situation but you might be thinking that perhaps they're going out a lot of the time or they're not telling you if you're communicating they're not telling you where they're going or if they do go out they're not texting you back for hours maybe you're blowing up their phone all of that kind of energy coming forward in your thought process so what they're actually thinking about it all is it's actually a little bit more balanced than perhaps your your thoughts are, are running away with you um spirit coming through really clearly and saying unless you have proof or um or unless you've seen something or you've heard something or things like that please don't let your thoughts run away with you and um, because we're looking at their energy and it is a lot more grounded than yours so your mind is probably trying to boot you a little bit you're probably having a bit of a heart and a head battle 
you're probably a little bit worried about what they're doing and if they are being honest with you. Now, the reason for that is because certain people in the past have betrayed you and um, even perhaps essentially in this relationship, they've let you down before, but you will know about that. Um, so your mind is going 10 to a dozen on it all. Equally in your thought process, you can see that this could develop into a beautiful relationship. So over here, the um, Elder of Pentacles, this is the Queen of Pentacles. So you are here in this kind of bear energy. Um, the bear in Lenormand is always kind of about financial abundance. It's about money. It's about stability. It's about security. And with it being the Queen of Pentacles, she also rocks that energy. Okay, so you, she's the, the um, stable mother family orientated lady so you've got in here in your cards this energy of you can see that this has a future but with the rat mountains in the background in again in Lenoma, these are considered blocks so you can see that you can have a future with them but you feel that there is a block in the way at the moment and this is where your mind starts to trick you into into what's happening and you're like, oh, well, well, I haven't heard anything. So what's going on? What I really like about this Three of Pentacles card is at the top is how you want, how you're feeling like you should be seeing the situation. But underneath it all, you've got this kind of chaotic energy. So your thoughts on this are, are really running a little bit crazy on you. You're running a little bit wild at the situation at the moment. But the reason why is because they haven't given you any evidence to say, well, you know, you should be feeling like this and I really like you and this, that and the other. So your head is going to be going 10 to a dozen on it. What I like about this energy as well is that you have pulled a few pentacles. So from your thought process, again, this can be a stable relationship. It can be a lot more secure, um, but you're just waiting for this action to come in. Now, the other two cards that jumped out in your thought processes are explorers. These are both knights. So the knights will symbolize movement. So it's like you are wanting them to connect with you. You are wanting them to speak to you a little bit more. You are wanting to connect up with that faster energy, that faster pace and say, you know what? I'm chasing you. I know what I want let's make head with the, with this and let's make it go because once they step into that movement you know that the um actions will soon you know once they make that action you you're going to feel a lot more secure and your head's not going to be running away with you so much so that's what you are currently thinking about the situation now what your person is thinking about the situation is this lover's energy so you've got the lovers over here now, with this lover's card, and I often speak about more divine relationships, having a bit of a DNA helix. So twin flames, high vibrational soulmates, you often kind of wave in and out of each other's life. So if you have gone quiet, if they have gone ghost, do not panic. They will come back towards you. Your energies are very much entwined and there is a real pure love essence here. And this is what your person is thinking about the situation, what they're feeling about it. So they have got very strong emotions for you. Um, they do sense that this is a more kind of spiritually advanced relationship even if they're like skeptic they know something's going on here that's a little bit strange they haven't felt this way about anyone before and the reason why they are acting the way they're acting is because they're trying to keep balanced on it they're trying not to let their heart run away with them and so their behaviors and perhaps their actions are showing you that you know that you've got these doubts, worries and fears because their actions haven't shown you that they're jumping towards you and making leaps and bounds. Now, the reason why they aren't doing that is because they're trying to stabilise their thought process on it. They know they really like you, but they want to keep balanced on it because they don't want to just suddenly jump in and um, give you all of their heart, give you absolutely everything and then have a freak out over the situation and say, well, I haven't experienced this before. I haven't felt like this before. I'm going to get hurt. I'm too vulnerable. I'm going to withdraw. I'm going to take a step back. So your person is really trying to balance their energy out. Whereas you're balancing your head and your heart um, and you're very much in the air energy of the mind. Your person is balancing their head and the heart and they're very much of the earth energy. They're trying to keep grounded on it. They're trying to get that stability. Um, once they feel more stable in the situation, this is where they're going to start opening up to you. Now, when they do open up to you about their emotions, they might do it from a more sexual standpoint than an emotional standpoint, or they might do it to a, a oh my effing God, you are absolutely stunning, you're absolutely beautiful, all that kind of energy. Reason for that is because they will be following their passions with the situation, and sometimes that can come forward as a little bit of immaturity. They'll be only acting like that because over here with the lover's card and over here with the page of wands, they again don't want to get to a place where they feel totally vulnerable and if they open up to you about their emotions and how they are really feeling 
it can make them back out a little bit. And this is where the balancing card is coming in the middle. They're trying to keep balanced on it all. Their actual emotions for you run deep. Um, Spirit saying really clearly deep waters run still. So water will always symbolise emotions. So the deeper the, the water, the deeper the emotions, they're running still. They're very calm on how they feel about you. They're very calm with regard to their emotions. They know how they feel about you, but they're just trying to keep balanced on it. They want to take their time with this situation, but they are really, really into you. Um, just they need to make more action towards you. And giving them the right amount of time and, and kind of letting this situation play out, that is what will happen. And that's step number one. So if you need me, drop me a message, mysticlovetarot at gmail.com. Um, I'm back, I'm rocking and rolling. You can also DM me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, Instagram, you'll have to send follow requests because there's so many scammers out there. Uh, I got fed up with my, I got scammed, uh, someone pretending to be me. Um, firstly, I will never start a conversation saying, dear beloveds, I've got a message for you. So, <laughs> and then there's a an, uh, hundred other reasons. Um, so I put it on private, so you'll have to send friend requests on is that what you call it on Instagram? Also Facebook, so that's just open, so you can you can go over there. Um, and yeah, email me, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. If you want to know more about the readings, uh, what type of readings I offer, it's just mrlovetarot.com. I am starting to do some pagan healing, energetic healing on there, uh, both getting the drum out and things. I haven't got that advertised on the website, um, but we can do it through cord clearing, womb, energetic clearing, all of that energy. Um, so if you do are interested, just let me know and we can look at getting that the drums out and working the guards and the goddesses to help clear your energy debt number one debt number two okay so if you just tapped in tuned in turned on my loves uh, the competition results are right at the start of the video um if you need me just drop me a message mr love tarot at gmail.com or you can instagram or facebook so today we're doing how do they feel about you? Well, how do you think they feel about you and what they actually feel about you? So we're just going into your mutual energy. Think of your person for me. Get into your person's thoughts, feelings, energy, emotions and thought process. I got a black feather on there on my altar over there. As I did it, the, the air of the cars just blew it up. The crow. It's a bit of a monkey feather. But he let it, when I went back to work, I found it on my doorstep, so I, I kept it and it just went flying. Just my spiritual energy, uh, the, the Morrigan and the Kerry Dwen. For those of you that are more pagan and interested in the god goddesses around me. Okay, so we're going to do, I went off on one, what you are think, what, how do you think they feel? So I'm going to do three cards for you and then we're going to do three cards for what they actually feel. So one, how do you think they feel? Two, oh. three, and what do they actually feel? What are they actually feeling for those watching? What are their emotions? Way. Two. Oh, you'll like this. Okay, you're going to like this deck number two. You've got good cards. Your energy and their energy are kind of aligning. So if your thoughts are having a wobble, you can take a step back and de-wobble your brain. And um, these cards are really good. So let's start off with you. What do you think they, how do you, how you think they feel about you? So you've got the Emperor, the Ten of Cups and the Moon. So let's start off over here. Ten of Cups family, love, connection, you know your person has emotions for you, you know they have very, very strong feelings for you, and you know that they see the potential of this relationship working out. Sometimes circumstances with you guys might be a little bit cloudy, so you haven't known where the situation is going, but you do know that they have these very, very strong feelings for you. You might be worrying that perhaps they aren't telling you the truth, um, you might be worrying that perhaps they're being a little bit stubborn, but you also know that this is your person and you know that this is just how they handle situations. Um, you are worrying that perhaps they're not telling you the truth because um, sometimes, sometimes with you guys, and it's a little bit split here, sometimes the relationship seems to be good to be true. Sometimes you're thinking like you are waiting for the situation to mess up because you've been hurt before. Um, and other times, it's sometimes like they might be a little bit offish with their behaviour, like they might take a step back and then come running back towards you. Normally, um, 
Spirit saying 10 times out of 10, it's because they're just dealing with other circumstances at this point in time. And if you guys aren't in contact and it has gone peak tongue and you're like, uh, not sure, Ali, this person, despite what's been going on with you, you this person still has very, very deep and rooted emotions for you. It's just that sometimes they can be a little bit stubborn. So with your thoughts on it and your thoughts and your feelings, there's room for adventure there's excitement on where this can go um, and there's a lot of progression routes here really important on this as well that you guys know that it's important that you follow your own intuition really listen to that gut instinct that you are serving it will not serve you wrong and um, this card also as i'm looking at it spirit is saying rapunzel rapunzel let down your hair so you've got this energy that they want to come towards you, they want to make this work with you and they want to climb up your hair and be like, hey, I'm your knight in shining armour, um, I'm here to save the day. So there is a, an, a sense of alchemy going on over here, Spirit is saying as well, this relationship is transforming um, and they're showing me the caterpillar going into the chrysalis and coming out the butterfly the other end. So where your thoughts are on a, a at the moment you guys are going through a transformation and this transformation is turning into something beautiful and yes i'm hearing um it's not actually been released yet but a dav the bard song and it says do something beautiful it's not released yet you'd have to watch his live shows uh, to find that song and he's a pagan musician so you've got this beautiful connection with you both um and it is real it is very very real do you trust your intuition on it okay um with the Ten of Cups over here as well, Spirit really drawing me to the number 10 of an ending and a beginning. There's a fresh start over here as your energy's aligning. And again, it comes back to that transformation. And you guys feel it, you know, you do feel it. Your head might be going, on, like I said, going on a little bit of a wobble and thinking, oh, no, no, I'm not sure about that. But actually, you do feel it. And as I'm saying that, there's a bunch of, uh, of birds just flying over, a murmuration of the energy, okay? I mean, with nature as well, being pagan, the, the birds just flew over, as I said that, the murmuration, the beautiful energy between the two of you, the transformation, really symbolising the same thing. So what your person is really feeling about you, well, you've got the Knight of Pentacles, Queen of Cups and Six of Wands. So off the bat over here, again, straight off, straight off the mark, straight at the start, you have a person who is in love with you. You have a person who wants to have the victory of you, wants to have the successful relationship, and you have the Knight of Pentacles. So the Knight of Pentacles is your person, is your person making slow, steady movement towards you. So you might feel that they'd be on a, the speed of a snail, but the slow and steady wins the race. And I, I probably I said this the other day, do you remember that fable um, about the hare and the tortoise and how the hare ran really really fast to win the race and ended up falling asleep because he was so tired and the tortoise overtook him it's that kind of energy over here your person you might feel this connection is a little bit slow but they are really interested in you and they want to see where it progresses they have got very very strong emotions for you they've fallen in love with you they can see a future with you they also really feel your psychic energy they feel your psychic abilities um they feel your power and that really draws them to you they love that about you um so this energy coming up over here is also spirit saying with, uh, to me with this that you've had past lives together but they are more future focused now so they're looking on where this connection can go with the six of wands this is your again your success they're riding on the white horse they are kind of taming the wild beast so to speak that they are ready to kind of change perhaps their behaviors how they've acted before um, and ready to change that so that you guys can work through it you guys can work it out and you guys can be together so like i said no matter what's happened in the past they are now forward focusing and looking on a future with you and again with the knight of pentacles over here um they're ready to slay the dragon. The dragon being perhaps the negative thoughts, the dark nights of the soul that they have experienced. They are ready to, to slay that, put that to bed and make headway towards you. So their emotions for you, what they're really feeling about you is a deep rooted love that they want to take slowly so that they can build a future with you. And with that, I just got this, the, the song or the story about the man who built his house on the sand and the man who built his house on the rock or the mud and how they built up and the man with the hat the sand fell down but the house with the rock stayed stable and that's what they're building they're trying to they, they want to build a stable foundation for with you so they can 
have this romantic new beginning. So you too, what you're thinking and what they're thinking, actually, if you get rid of all your fears, your doubts, your worries, your concerns, you two are aligned and that's beautiful. Well done. And that's step number two. So if you need me, just drop me a message, mrlovetarot at gmail.com. I am rocking and rolling. And uh, yeah, once again, thank you for all of your support over the last nine months whilst I've been on maternity. You're all super rock stars. All right, guys. Love you. Ciao.